September. We thank you for October, and Lord God Almighty, now we are thanking you for November. We thank you because we know if you have brought us thus far, oh, by your grace we shall see the new year. Father, accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, I'm committing all your children born in the month of November into your hands. I pray you give them a brand new beginning. A new beginning of joy, of success, of anointing. I'm praying, Lord God Almighty, for all your children who have been faithful in the payment of their tithes and in the giving of their offerings. Lord God Almighty, that before the end of this year, you will surprise them. Surprise them with abundance. Fulfill all your promises concerning them. And Lord God Almighty, anything that can stand between us and walking into new year with joy and success father destroy today Amen. thank you almighty god in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen, amen. amen. praise the lord <clears throat> today being thanksgiving sunday we <clears throat> we will be brief so that we we'll have plenty of time to praise the Lord. And I believe you really have cause to praise him. And we'll be talking about the, we the wonders of sacrificial praise. The wonders of sacrificial praise. Jeremiah chapter 33. From verse 10 to 11. Jeremiah 33, from verse 10 to 11. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, that's including your town and your nation, that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. For I will cause you to return, I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. I believe that God is prophesying to all the nations of the world. I don't know what 2021 holds yet, but I have a feeling, even from this passage, that God is going to restore. Amen. When we talk about sacrifice of praise, when praise becomes a sacrifice. It is because anyone can praise God when the battery is over. When you've just got a miracle, you just got promotion in your place of job or of work, your prayers have just been answered, when the battery is over, anybody can praise God. Anybody. Only a fool will not praise God when the battle is already over. Exodus 15 from verse 1 to 21. Exodus 15 from verse 1 to 21 tells us how the children of Israel began to sing and to praise God after Pharaoh and his army have been drowned in the Red Sea. The night before, oh, <laughs> they were so afraid. But now, the battle is over, 
I began to sing. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10, 1 Samuel chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10, when at long last Anna had a son, after all the provocations of the uh, other woman, oh, she sang a beautiful song. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 51 to 52, 1 Samuel 17, 51 to 52, the Bible says the children of Israel who have been hiding when Goliath was terrorizing them, when they saw Goliath on the ground, and they saw his head lifted high from off his neck, taken off from off his neck and lifted high by David, they shouted... Praise the Lord, great is our God, our God is the victor. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, from verse 6 to 7, 4 Samuel 18, from verse 6 to 7, the Bible said, when they returned from pursuing the Philistines, because those people fled when they saw their champions had died, they came back singing... The women were playing with their tambourines, etc., etc., Anybody can praise God after the battle is over. But few people can praise God when they are in the midst of very hot battle. Very few. People of great faith like Job, for example, and you can read Job chapter 1, from verse 13 to 20. Camels, all your camels well, have been stolen. The servants that remain that were not consumed by fire have been butchered. And as if that was not enough, somebody came and said, All oh, your children were having a party in their elder brother, eldest brother's house, and the house fell on all of them, and they all died. Uh -uh. And as if that was not enough, then came sickness. Boys from head to toe. But finally, Job said, in Job chapter 13, from verse 15 to 16, Job 13, verse 15 to 16, he said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Then his friends came. And then instead of really sympathizing with him, they began to say, Oh, manners of rubbish. Hey. This can't happen to you except you sin. Uh, it, it must be your secret sin that God is uh, uh, avenging. Oh, they said so many things that instead of comforting him, they were adding petrol to his fire. The battle was hot. But what did he say? Job chapter 19, 25 to 27. Job 19, 25 to 27. He said, I know my Redeemer lives. You can say what you like. My Redeemer is still alive. And one day, one way or the other, I'm going to see him. Now it takes a man of great faith to praise God when the battle is hot. But very, 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 very few people can praise God when victory seems impossible. 
that is when praise becomes a sacrifice. It takes very, very few to praise God when the doctors have said, sorry, there's nothing more we can do. It takes very, very few to praise God when there seems to be no way out. That's when praise becomes a sacrifice. And I'm going to ask you to praise God this morning irrespective of what your situation may be. I feel you just won a victory. I, I don't need to beg you to praise God then. And you see fighting. The, the battle is hot. Praise Him all the same. Does it look as if there is no more hope? Ah. Of, of our praise as a sacrifice. Why? Because it is written. Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 3. Let God arise and his enemies will scatter. He said the enemies will melt like wax before fire. Are you surrounded by enemies? Does it look as if the enemy is about to swallow you up? This year has been terrible, horrible for you in every way possible. Does it look as if uh, the end has come? Praise him. Why? Because if you can just get him to arise for you, the enemies will scatter. How do I get the enemies to scatter? How do I get God to arise? Praise him. You know the story, Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 1 to 25. Second Chronicles 20, 1 to 25. I've referred to that story before. A very young king, doing the will of God, surrounded by three mighty kings. Three mighty kings. Each one is enough. To finish him and his army. And the Almighty God sent a prophet and said, Tell my servant, praise me. Okay. <laughs> if I don't praise you, what else can I do? The end is here anyway. Unless you move there will be no tomorrow and they began to sing and to praise God it takes a very special grace of God to praise him when there is no hope of escape But then as they began to sing, as they began to praise God, going into battle, going as it were into total destruction, suddenly God arose. I have good news for those of you listening to me this November Sunday. If you will praise God sacrificially, you are going to enter the new year shouting, Glory, glory, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Why? Because he himself said in John chapter 4, from verse 23 to 24, John 4, 23 to 24, that God is a spirit, 
they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And he seeks such to worship him. Praise him sacrificially. He will seek you out. And if he seeks you out, when he arrives, <laughs> your enemies will scatter. So this November the 1st, strategical Sunday for you. Praise God, even if you have to do it as a sacrifice. And I can guarantee you, my God will arise and your enemies will be scattered. Amen. But then you know the Bible says that the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to God. So don't begin to praise him if you are not willing to do his will. Don't begin to praise him if you are not willing to surrender your life to him. If you surrender your life to him and then begin to praise him, oh, sure, it will arise for you. The only thing he wants to hear from a sinner is, Lord, have mercy on me, miserable offender. So if you are listening to me and you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, do so now. Bow your head wherever you may be. Cry unto him and ask him to please save your soul. He will do so. And then your praise will become acceptable to him. And you will be amazed at what we follow. Let us pray. Almighty God, Lord of hosts, the one who never lost a war, on behalf of all your children, I'm saying thank you that thus far you have helped us. Oh, the prophecies of all the so-called scientists of the world concerning many of us is that pandemic would have swallowed us up. But by your grace, we are here By your grace, we, were, we had been preserved. You, and you who preserved us thus far, we are sure that the devil has lost the battle. Amen. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm committing all those who are surrendering their life to you today into your hands. Father, save their souls. Amen. Wipe away their sins. Amen. Include them among your children. Amen. And when they begin to praise you too, my Father and my God, accept their praises. Amen. Oh yes, Lord, I'm quite aware there are some of us who are still fighting some battles with sickness or disease. Oh Lord, before we finish praising you, let the battles be over. Amen. There are some of us who cannot even see the way out as of now. Father, before this day is out, bring them out of prison. Amen. Glorify your holy name. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Glory be to your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now we encourage you now to go ahead and praise God either joyfully because you've already got your miracle or because you want him to arise now and begin to fight your battles for you or just as a sacrifice of praise. But make sure you really, really praise God this Sunday. God bless you.